Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're gonna be taking a look at how we can create our own unattended installation ISO or USB flash drive uh, or any type of media. And this will be used to install Windows. Now, once you've got your ISO, you can inject that uh, answer file into there. And what that's gonna do is when you install uh, Windows, whether it will be Windows XP, Vista, 7, 8, 8.1, 10 it, server it doesn't really matter when you go to install any of those it will automatically do it silently so you won't have to uh, click any buttons or answer any questions it will automatically do it all for you because we're going to set up all those answers for it and then put that into the installation so let me show you what i mean so this is a really easy way to set this up and as you can see here this uh, windows answer file generator is an awesome site and it really does set up uh, this answer file very easily all you need to do here is uh, put in all the information that you want and then you can download the file and then inject that into uh, your media so for instance let's just take a look at the actual file itself uh, general settings so here we have our product key now this is a generic product key uh, here but if you wanted to put in your own product key uh, you can you can do that afterwards if you wanted to if you didn't feel safe putting it online you can do that um, but basically you can leave this uh, product key here except uh, a EULA this is the accept uh, so you don't have to interfere with that it'll automatically accept it you can see skip the automatic uh, activation yes skip license and you can see yes and you can set this up uh, English computer name and you can see it's the dash PC you can call it wherever you like bench kitchen workshop wherever it is that you are um, regional settings again uh, this is where you'd set all your um, languages and you can set this up to how you want as well uh, let's just say I wanted to do uh, United Kingdom and I can do that here you can see here the time zone pick your time zone for that uh, area so no matter where you are you can pick that time zone now I've already done this myself but I'll go through a couple of bits here language I'm going to do uh, English United Kingdom home network uh, protect uh, your computer turn on express settings you can see you've got some other uh, settings here And uh, also, you can see control panel, it sets all this up for you. Now, this is important, uh, the partition uh, settings here, the wipe disk, that is going to wipe the hard drive. So if you've got plans of installing this over the top of Windows, then you don't want to wipe that at all, okay? So, But if you are going to wipe it on a clean, put uh, this onto a clean uh, drive uh, and install that onto a, a formatted drive, then that's fine. As it is, you can see NTFS operating system that will be the C drive will be called OS uh, and so on so username will be going here so we're going to put a username in as well and also administrators and you can set this up if you wanted to set this up as a different uh, setting here you can do that again password is optional UAC is disabled but we can enable that if we want now remember sometimes when you enable this it may interfere with some other bits and pieces uh, when you do that but uh, basically we've got our file now done and then all we need to do here is download this file you click on download and it will automatically have all our settings downloaded here now there is some other features here that you can set up which is the Windows 10 features configurer and also the Windows 10 power plan and um, services that you can configure this here now these will be created as a bat file or batch file and you can automatically install them at the very end of your installation now you can either do it manually or you can still set this up so it's automated and that's then done and I'll show you how to do that probably in another video but we'll take a look at it in a second so you can see now that is uh, downloaded there and you just need to put this file into your installation and I'll show you where to put that in a second now I just wanted to cover here some services as you can see here you can set this up as well 
very useful and very quick and easy to do you can pick your architecture here 64-bit or 32-bit or 86 so you can see there which is 32-bit and you can set these up to auto delayed demand disable depending on what you want to do here you can set these up and let me just uh, come down to the bottom here and it'll be the same deal you just download that file and you keep this file and you can see it's now called services.bat uh, now this file obviously won't uh, you need to make sure I'll cover this in another video but basically you need to put this in a certain particular area so when the installation is then complete it will check that folder and that will then automatically install uh, this bat file and all the settings and we can cover that in another video uh, because it's, uh, it's going to take too long but here you can see you can do this for any version of Windows here very quick and easy to do so let's just take a look here at where we're going to put this so I've got my Windows 10 ISO here and I've already done it but I'll show you how you can do yours basically you're going to need a copy of any sort of program that opens up an ISO file here so for instance I've got this program here and uh, I'm going to go to the desktop here and I'm going to click on this and open it up so now we've got this open you'll see that I've already got this file inside here and it needs to go into this main directory here uh, the root directory of that CD so you can see this will be the actual CD area here and we've got it inside there and you just drop it in so basically if I had this open here let me just go back here and add this onto my desktop you would then uh, go to this location here where the file is and then you'd pull that in so you'd need to pull that into there and it will drop so let me just remove this for you and we'll see so basically you can just drop that into there like so and then you would go save save as and then you save this as another ISO unattended ISO image right there now this is not the right place for the service bats and also features that's not the right place for them uh, they will go into a different location you can either create folders inside your sources um, here you can either create folders in here and I'll show you how to do that in another video or there's a special area inside the install.wim uh, or install uh, .wim or .esd file where you can create a setup inside the setup folder you put them in there and it will automatically read those once you put the code in so basically that's that so let's take a look at what happens when we install uh, this on a computer so I'll just show you a bit of this process we've now booted to our media which is our USB flash drive and if you don't know how to do that you can watch some of my other videos but you'll see that I don't have to touch the computer at all it will automatically uh, do all this for us and that's because we've put our answer file inside there for us and you can see it automatically accepts the EULA and goes straight into this process and it will continue to do this without me intervening And there we have it that's the install done I skipped some of those processes out there but basically this is what you'll get when you've just installed uh, with your unattended installation you won't have to do anything it installs from the start you the moment you put your USB flash drive in and boot to that device and then it will install Windows and it will get you to this screen without touching the computer at all which is pretty awesome so you can just click yes here and then of course if you've got your own answer file with your um, license key in there and you put it in you won't have to activate it automatically activate if you set that up correctly but if you haven't done that and you've used the generic one you would have to uh, put in your um, product key and if we take a look here at the C drive you'll see it be called it be called uh, OS there you go and it's already put the account in which we told it to to do so we could go there and take a look at the user accounts and you'll see that's exactly uh, how it's been set up uh, for you uh, so no matter what you put into your answer file that's how it'll be set up you can see here and that's pretty much it that's how you can create your own unattended installation
media with uh, that uh, website and it does it on every version of Windows there as you can see pretty straightforward and easy to do very useful for people that want to uh, walk away from the machine and carry on doing something else while it's installing anyway I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this one up my name is Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys and you find them useful then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos also if you've got any problems with computers or any video requests or any, uh, if you want to just chat or anything like that, you can head over to the forums. And also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, you use Facebook, then pop over there and give us a little like up over there. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoy the content. Bye for now.